Hey, I'm that other bipolar asshole on the internet. And if you don't mind me, I'm gonna rip off UA for a little bit. Sorry, UA. Um, we're gonna be looking at a little um, interesting thing I did to this PS1, and you can probably see what looks like an Arduino, because it is an Arduino. And that's because I'm trying out a mod chip called PS Knee. Now, I've already tested this, so I know it works. Otherwise, I wouldn't be making the video. Uh, but you basically have to solder six wires. Two are for power, and then the other four connect to certain lines on the PC B. This is a PU um, 23, I think. It's so SCPH 9001 model. Um, laser's in good shape. Got my controller right there. And as you can see, this is a burnt disc. Now, just to show that, yes, this thing will still obviously work with an official game, we're going to be putting a copy of Spyro the Dragon in here, because Spyro is a good game. And we're going to power on the PlayStation. Pardon the mess. My um, setup isn't as clean as some of the other people. But, as you can see, give me a second, there we go. Works with an official PlayStation game. So, let's ignore that. There and put a burnt game in there. And yes, I know it's scratched and shit. I've had it laying around. I don't need this light anymore. But we're gonna use my SMC. Burn game. And it's a Japanese game, so it actually says Computer Entertainment Incorporated. And this is just what I had laying around. I have some other games, but I figured this would be the one that most people would recognize. And if you don't already recognize it, then you've obviously never played it. Come on. It's Pepsi Man. So, yeah, Pepsi Man works. Um, there should be music here, but I think my ISO is bad. Do, 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 do. Let's put another example in here, just because uh, this is an interesting little example, because it's actually not an official PS1 game. And actually, I will show you the Arduino doing its work. All it boots. See the red light, red flashy, flashy. Oh wait, no, this is an official PS1 game. What the fuck did I do with the other disc? And I have this open, so I need to be very careful. There we go. I should label my discs. That's what I should do. And I should also clean my lens. Do, 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 come on. Do your thing. Yeah, that definitely isn't official. And yeah, you can see it works. And then it has like some like little demos and stuff, and I'll just uh, I'll just uh, play that. So there's a demo scene running on it, and I'm trying to clean my lens off. There we go. Oh, you son of a bitch! Maybe it doesn't like the fact that it's open. Come on, you loaded earlier, you stupid thing. Yeah, my laser, I think, needs to be worked on on my PS1. Okay, yeah, it... Laser definitely needs to be worked on. Could also be the screw coming loose. That's always a possibility. Other way. I only have it open just to show off the fact that, yes, that's an Arduino doing all the work. That is not a standard mod chip. Better load this time. There we go.
So, yes, that is a PlayStation modded with a with an Arduino. All it needed was an Arduino. Nothing else. I had to remove like the ports on it to actually get it to fit with the top housing thing on, but it does work. So. So, yes, that's the PS Knee. It is basically just a PlayStation mod chip. Now, it's better to use an Arduino Nano or something instead of this the fucking gigantic Uno, which this is an Uno clone. It's not even an official Arduino Uno, but it does work. And, you know, just to, like, I'm not bullshitting around. This is, you can actually see this is, like, wired into something, but... I know, my wiring, kind of messy, but like I said, I don't care, it works, so, yeah, that's the PS Knee.